What's up guys, SpinFireArms here, and today we're going to be comparing two 10 plus 1 setups of 380 ACP, right? One being the SIG P365 Chamber and 380, a 10 plus 1 setup, like I said, and the Ruger LCP Max, which is also 10 plus 1 of 380. The major difference is the size and also the price. This SIG is about $500, whereas the Ruger LCP Max is about $350. So you have about $150 difference. Let's get into it, but before that, please hit the like button. Please drop a comment down below, it's free, but it still helps support the channel, still helps put me in the algorithms, and it would mean a lot to me. Anyways, SIG P365, Chamber 380. Even though I'm not a massive P365 fan, um, I do like this firearm for shooting. It's very smooth. A lot of people, I have them shoot this for their first firearm when we go to the range, and a lot of women like shooting this firearm. It tends to fit their hand really well, handles recoil really well, um, especially in 380. Comes with nice 3-dot X-ray night sights, is cut for an optic but I don't know why you would ever put an optic on a little 380 tiny pistol like this it just doesn't make sense to me it shoots just fine as is this one does come with a manual safety you can get without but for pocket carry some people like that manual safety very easy to flip on and off um, you can get this little finger extension I have both the flush mag and the pinky extension I like the pinky extension because it just it gives a good ergonomics it's not because I need a pinky to shoot it's because the overall ergonomics and feel of the firearm it fits my hand like a glove um, and then we have the Ruger LCP Max, which has great texturing, very, very small, which we're going to get into. Comes with a U-notch rear with a tritium front sight. Absolutely love, love that sight setup. I actually run that on other firearms, different brand, but similar with the U-notch rear and the tritium front. Um, and I did get the Cerakoted slide just to prevent rush, rust issues because both these firearms right here, both these companies have been known to have rust issues, the P365 and the Ruger LCPs. So I try and do my best to avoid that. Let's get into size. Look at how much longer that P365 is and it's wider and it's much, much heavier. And then height, about the same in height, but the width, obviously I do have the grip on, but if you look at their slides, that Ruger LCP Max is thinner. Now. Honestly, in hand right now, this feels much, much lighter. Um, when it comes to quality, it's hard for me to explain because my SIG quality experience hasn't been the greatest, but I would like to say the SIG is better quality, but at the same time, I prefer the LCP Max. I prefer a smaller setup. Like between these two, it doesn't make sense for me to get the P365. Now I get if you want a P365 and you have wrist problems or you know whatever the case may be, and this is gonna be your go-to carry firearm, but for firearms this small, I tend to, you know, throw a larger mag in, like a 13-round mag in my Hellcat and carry it appendix. Whereas this LCP Max, if you're going with a 380 of something this small, I want something that's tiny, something that can go in my pocket, something I can take with me everywhere, something I can literally go play basketball in. I can go to the park. I can go bike riding. And like I said, the trigger is not bad on this at all. Um, the SIG has a better trigger, but the LCP Max is like the perfect pocket pistol trigger out there. I just like the flexibility that this can play in your life. You can literally take this anywhere and not a single person will know. Where this does print a little more and it is a little thicker, but like I said, it is the better shooting than the two. It handles recoil much better. Um, it's more comfortable on a lot of people's hands. It fits people's hands better. Um, but when it comes down to 380 and a pocket pistol, I'd rather take this, a good pocket holster, and some rounds down range over my P365 chamber and 380. But both are great firearms. It's all personal preference. They're both 10 plus 1, so plenty to get you out of any situation, especially in the summer when people aren't going to be wearing coats and um, multiple layers and stuff like that. 380 is definitely an acceptable round. Now, what rounds do I carry out of these? I carry Underwood Extreme Defenders. They have the best penetration, um, and on top of that, they're made by a company that is well-respected and very, very reliable, and that I've never had any issues with running them out of any of my firearms. The only thing that I would say about the LCP Max is the quality. The quality on my SIG isn't the greatest. I feel like the finish is terrible, um, and I've had issues on my other fire, my other P365 variants. But the Ruger, it just feels cheap. I'm just being honest with you guys. It feels cheap, but it's supposed to feel like that because it's super light. But the trigger, honestly, just feels like it's going to break. I, I, I don't know why it is. It just feels like a cheap trigger that doesn't... That can't handle a lot so when it comes to durability i feel like the p365 can really take more of a beating um and really you know be dropped and hit and bumped and it's not going to affect the firearm as much over time whereas the lcp max i feel like this thing is one good drop away from getting broken or whatever the case may be and here's the thing you say oh don't drop your firearm then you guys have never trained before because that happens during training you drop your firearm you bump into stuff shoot my fn 503 
landed on concrete and that broke my heart but at the same time i'm like you know what it it dealt with the blow it's running reliably still it's actually a pretty cool little scar mark on there to explain what happened i tripped and there goes my fn 503 and guess what didn't go off um so between these two it's your call if you want more of an everyday carry firearm that can flex into more roles obviously the p365 but if you want something you can take everywhere with you and not feel outgunned the lcp max is definitely a way to go anyways guys thanks for watching